morning. Um, this is a debate challenge to William Vincent on the Olivet Discourse of Matthew chapter 24. Um, people are going to wonder why I am challenging William Vincent to do a debate on Matthew chapter 24. Um, there's a couple reasons. First, uh, he's posted his third video. Um, he's done three videos on his YouTube channel and he's been posting them um, on Facebook. Um, and he's still continuing his series. He's just laying the, the hermeneutical groundwork, he said. Um, so he's still continuing his series, but in his very first video, he mentions me in a video I did on Matthew chapter 24. It was a 23 minute video. Uh, the title is, If Matthew 24, 4 through 34 is admitted to be AD 70, then all prophecy is fulfilled. But it's not as simple as that. Um, I make two main arguments, and I'm going to put the notes up here that I have in that video um, as well. Um, and it's not as simple as that. I made two primary, primary points. Point number one, verse 31. The prophetic background of Matthew 24, 31, and the ramifications of that, which are tremendous, which are huge. Secondly, how Matthew chapter 24 and 25, the Matthean version of the Olivet Discourse, is the main, is the New Testament source for uh, New Testament eschatology. We see this in Paul. First to Second Thessalonians is Matthew twenty four through twenty five. This is this can be demonstrated easily. Matthew twenty four through twenty five is in fact uh, First Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians right through. If I had time, I would uh, demonstrate that. I, I've done it on other videos, um, and it's been demonstrated by others. Um, also, other books as well have been influenced by Matthew. Um, uh, chapter 24 um, we see James James chapter 5 the judge at the door well that's Matthew 24 33 I believe um, many many other passages the book of Revelation is in fact unless you're a premillennialist and I don't think William is uh, um, he's orthodox um, uh, he's probably all millennial I, I could be wrong I don't want to misrepresent uh, William um, but that's the basis for the book of Revelation. It's the basis for Second Peter chapter 3. So 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, James 5, the whole book of Revelation. Um, uh, we see Matthew 24 and 25 uh, being the source. And 2 Peter chapter 3 and many other texts. 1 John 2 through 4 uh, alludes to it as well. And so he mentioned my name, and he mentioned my video, and, and he made a blank, blanket statement saying, well, Joel's just saying this. No, I made two precise exegetical arguments, exegetical and contextual, um, in that. So I challenge him. I have a debate with William or Stephen Whitsett on David Gates' uh, 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 broadcasting, uh, or... Uh, uh, the the broadcast and pod uh, podcast network something like that I, I, I'm sorry David um, but it's going to be live on his program on YouTube January 3rd and 4th and William is still working on his series and so after that time if he would like to do a live debate and I'm sure David uh, would not mind if I asked him we could do a live YouTube debate on his program um, and it would be a video debate uh, 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 on his uh, program. Um, so that's the challenge to William. Um, William is a very, very intelligent guy. I, I've, I've read his posts and things like that. He's probably more, he, yeah, he's probably more intelligent than myself. But that does not ma that does not matter. Uh, I, I believe. Um, uh, um, in all cases, uh, especially when you have the text on your side, and, and William seems to be a, a very gracious, uh, a gracious fellow. 
Um, but um, oh, and I, I did do a video a few months back in response to William on Acts chapter three. Um, I, I, I did a video, uh, I think, responding to him then. But that's the debate challenge, William. To debate the Olivet Discourse, is it fulfilled or is it future? Or we can discuss um, uh, the details and protocol and uh, whatnot. But that's the challenge, debate challenge to William Vincent on the Olivet of Matthew chapter 24. And I would be very, very happy to do that uh, debate.